All right, so now I want to put my template in for printing. And what you want to do is click Print Preview. And this is the three graph report. And on here, I already have a three graph report already loaded in. And so you may just have a graph with one straight line in. It doesn't make any sense. So let's go ahead and customize it. So this is how you'd actually create that template, but I've already actually done it for you, so you don't have to um, actually do it. So here's the word. Just click on Customize. And um, we're going to go, we've, we've already loaded it. This is, we want to find that one template we've already loaded. So for the one we loaded, you'll see here it is, the .ntr. And it was called the Epi Info 3 Graph Child Version. And I had Vista, so that was version 3.5.1351. And I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to open it. In actuality, um, I had altered this earlier. So you'll just see ECAP Growth Screening Report um, on there. And if you wish to just alter it, and again, you want to make it to what your site might be, you may say type in Valley View ECAP, um, and you could actually put your your phone number in, and you could put whatever other information in. You want to be careful not to go more than three lines because when you go more than three lines, I'll show you very quickly. Um, uh, fourth line. What happens is that um, one of your graphs may be bumped off the page. Actually, see, as you as the more lines that you put in here, the second graph has potential to be bumped off. So I would no more than just four lines. So let's go back to Customize again. And you could put um, the address of the site, however you wish to do it, or you could just leave it just as that, Valley View ECAP program. This is an image. If you have a logo, uh, you could um, import and browse and look for your logo and then um, alter the size of your file if you wish to. If you have a document or maybe a, a picture that's two inches and maybe you want it one inch, you would, collect, you would select 50% and that would create a logo there. But for now, we're not going to use a logo. Graph. Um, these are the three graphs you want, Adolescent Weight for Age, Stature for Age, Body Mass Index. So go ahead and click these three, and we want English. And Table, um, I've already moved, these fields have already been moved over in the template. So you can move them around by clicking that button, or you can click them all over, or you can move certain ones over and not include these. These are the ones that we want. And I've already moved them over in the order. This is age, height, height for age, weight, weight for age, BMI, BMI percentile, and notes. Okay, so now I've altered this a little bit. And picture this is a Word document. So it kind of like a Word, but it's not a Word document, but it's treated as the same. I've changed the template, so now I need to save it. Um, you can save as... Um, instead, of maybe this is your specific site template. So maybe I do want to call it Valley View, which um, I have one already there. But Valley View, uh, I'm going to say Valley View ECAP um, 3 Graph. I'm going to say Parent Report. And maybe you have different sites that you've already, um, you want to, uh, make this unique to so that you you can change and have different templates set up for whatever site you are working with. But for general, if you just want to leave it general, you could just say ECAP growth screening and um, not even list your site, however you wish to do it. When you're done, again, you can, just to review, you could do open, look for whichever one that you want. This is the general one that we've had um, downloaded from the web. And then once you've clicked on it, um, you could click Open. And then if you make any changes to it, you want to save it. 
And then once you're done, you can hit OK. And then you'll see the graph print or show in the window. And if you want to expand it, go ahead and push the expansion. And now the magnifying glass allows you to see it a little bit bigger. So you see ECAP growth screening, Valley View. The name, that was just the name that was listed there. Um, you can um, put whatever name you wish um, of the child. And then when I uh, left click on the document, I can use my scrolling and scroll down. You'll see the weight um, of age of the child. And then you'll see the plotting of it. And then stature for age, that's the height. And then this is the um, BMI for age. This is on the second page. We're on page two of two now. And you'll see it's plotted it. And you'll see the child growth information right there. And that will have, that was the information that was in, um, that we moved over. Again, date of measurement, age, height, height for age, uh, weight in pounds, weight for age, BMI, BMI percentile, and date of measurement. And if you have any notes there. Okay, so you can move between um, both of the files by clicking on that. And to shrink it, you just go ahead and click the magnifier glass again. And then you hit close. So now every time that you go and you just want to print, um, you don't need to click print preview. Just click print and choose your printer, whatever printer that might be, and then click OK. And it will automatically click, it will automatically print that report.